All right, it's time for the final level in Cat Girl Without Salad. It's like a muse boss or something. Kawaii Galaxy. Perfect ending. According to Chef Enough's directions, our mystery antagonist is hiding in the... Ah! In the Kawaii Galaxy. I've never yes! been to Hawaii. Kawaii. It's Japanese for cute. I want to hug everything! I love this weapon so much. Of course, it's the gun blade. It sounds like a Kirby track. Kind of. Uh oh. Incoming transmission! Well, well, Kabako. Perhaps oh, you're no. not as dumb as you look. Or sound. Or act. But it's a very large galaxy, kitty cat. And I'm a needle in a cosmic haystack. Hey, I know that voice. Who is it? It sounds like me! But I don't remember saying that. I don't think that's you, Kabako. Squiddy, have you been recording me in my sleep again? Uh-uh. Most of these enemies are not actually cute. This is a little concerning, honestly. Ah. Whatever. Anything's better than that DDR gun. Ah! How dare you, game! It's like it hurt me. Do you have any idea who this person is, Kabako? If she's behind everything, she must be pretty obsessed with you. Tia, her and the rest of the galaxy. She knew about your history with Gunner and she... Oh my gosh, the... the... Look, Squiddy. It's time to come for It's me. the bells from Parodius. Though I don't everything. think those attacked you. I'm listening. It started six years ago. I went to the video store to rent a documentary on polar bears... Terror vision. Yes, you do. But every darn polar bear unicycle movie was checked out! <gasps> it was heartbroken. So, I rented an anime about shark parties instead. It was hilarious! But when it came time to return the movie eight months later, I couldn't find it anywhere. I checked under my sofa, in the fridge, behind your eyeballs. I remember. <sighs> Nothing. No movie anywhere. The guy at the rental place told me I owed them 20 space bucks to replace it. But I just yelled at him, replace this! Then I ran outside and found a half eaten taco on the ground, so I ate the other half. Um, how is that the oh, no! That was what, a good lady? gun. Oh, that was great. Kokoro <laughs> jelly! Ow. I didn't check to see if I get to keep my extended health when I replay levels. I assume so. Like, it's not a major deal. Either way. But, uh... I think the high amount of health... Aesthetic <laughs> I love these enemies. Rip. I want a way forward to make more small games, to be honest. They make really good, never like... Transmission. Stand by. Ow, I'm floating. Oh, Kabako. You never give up, do you? Nope. I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. Gunner and Shepanoff were just the beginning. I will continue sending the skeletons from your closet until you are defeated. <laughs> skeletons? <gasps> Where'd she get those? It's an expression. Killing someone with skeletons is an expression? <laughs> if only we knew where she was hiding. Well, that went pretty well. Not too cartoon villain, right? I'm going for a particular tone. Intimidating, but fun. Of course, by the time she realizes we're broadcasting from Nebula 6, I'll be long gone. Wait, are we still recording? <laughs> if only we knew where she was! <sighs> Next up, Nebula 6. Yeah, I like their full-size games, but they uh, they take quite a while to release. So Half Genie Hero, I think it uh, is that Xseed is publishing it, which is well. I like them being indie, but uh, we do get a physical copy, though I backed it on Kickstarter, and so now if I want a physical copy, I have to buy it twice, which kind of sucks. But uh, <laughs> they're like Russian. They they're really the Russian dolls. They have little ones inside them. Oh my gosh, it really is the Parodius Bells. I'm worried. About polar bears? 
know about our uh. mystery adversary. She could be leading us into a trap. Like polar bears! You know they look super huggable, but they kill everything! There are no bears in space, Kabako. Exactly! The perfect trap! I can see why it has to respawn thing, but it feels like it respawns it a bit quick. I have to constantly reset it out. All in all, a lot of my weapons feel pretty underpowered for these later levels. It feels like I'm mostly just dodging, which isn't necessarily a problem, but uh... <laughs> I still love the aestheticus. Another transmission! You think you're so clever, Kabako? You sure that's not me? That sounds like something I tell myself. Pretty sure. This is your last chance to turn back. Battling with me will only make me stronger. Really? Eating makes me stronger. It's true. And right now, I'm in the mood for impasta. Get it? Because she sounds sort of like me. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to relish this battle. That was awesome. Yeah, you should feel bad about that one. Badish. Oop. I really hope this gen we start getting shoot 'em ups and stuff back and cute 'em ups because, like, um. Over with. All these food puns are making me hungry. Then let us get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Up, oh, it's evil me. You ridiculous winged nitwit! You fell right into my trap. See, after all these years and decades and centuries of waiting, vengeance will finally be mine. You'll pay for what you did to me, Kabako. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> what? Squid egg. This angry person? Scanning, sir. Stop that! You know exactly who I am! Did you install my cable? No. Deliver my pizza? No! Install my cable? <laughs> no! Then I got no idea. I am Ramiko, aka Cat Grill. <laughs> I am your worst nemesis! You'd think that would narrow it down, but nah. -uh. No matter. Even if you don't remember me, I will still destroy. Oh, come on! How can you not remember me? Squiddy, I think it's time for an intergalactic pummeling! Yes, sir! Cackrill. I think this was part of the original joke, too. Are you sure that's not me, Squiddy? Yes, Tabaco. She sure looks like me. Maybe she's a fan. I'm not your fan! It's okay. I get this all the time. You want an autograph, little girl? I will paint the stars with your blood! <laughs> no need. Intense. I've got a pen. Oh my god, she's attacking me with Guitar Hero. Boy, she's tough! Guess I should expect that from my biggest fan. Squiddy, any tips? Ow. She fights just like you, but better. So what should I do? Be better than her better. Yeah, I was hoping we would see more resurgence of shoot 'em ups than we have, because I mean, Resogun was a really good start to the generation. Um, we're still getting Raiden 5. Oh, Raiden 5 came out. Unfortunately, it's only on Xbox One for now. Uh, I'm not really sure what 5 PB is. Wait, no, that's not a 5 PB. That's, um, there's a couple of shoot 'em up fans that, or developers that still seem to be in bed with Xbox even after Sony. Like, Sony, early last gen, well, I mean, in general, Sony was a bunch of assholes regarding things like 2D games and horizontal shoot 'em ups and as of lately they've pretty much stopped doing any of that and they're pretty welcome to pretty much any developer so there isn't much reason for people to still go Japanese devs to still go on Xbox considering Xbox sells like I think they actually went under a hundred Xbox one sold a week a while ago it's just nothing but uh I guess they made a lot of friends in Microsoft with uh, last gen. 
Hopefully they'll come to PC instead. I mean, that's not too terrible a fate, but, uh... And Cave's games are finally coming over to PC. Look, I'm gonna give you a oh, no! Photo, but it'll be a lot easier if you stop shooting at me first. Oh my gosh, it's a fake Sonic. What do I make this out to? <laughs> oh god, it's a human Sonic. I hope this gun is, like, insanely powerful when you get the beat right. Because it is so frustrating and annoying, I hate it. I... Yes! You can ditch it like Kirby. It even has the little throw star animation like Kirby. More games need to reference games. I mean, how is that not an obvious thing? It's Frogger. But I don't get why this is so rare. And it's what's funny is that Hybrid Dimension Neptunia is such an obvious game reference and like the intro beats you over the head with the fact that this is in fact a game parody. And people still don't get it. They think it's just some random anime game. It's like, how stupid are you? Like. It's really obvious, and it's like constant. But whatever. Yeah, I really like how they handle this boss. It's really neat that she has attacks just like you, but not exactly your attacks. Though the fireball things aren't really game references, that just seems to be her thing, because you know, grill. Just got a flamethrower. Alright, right, give me a new gun and give me absolutely anything but that stupid, terrible, I hate it DDR gun. The weapons are interesting, but it feels like half of them aren't as good as my normal gun. Or at least they're very frustrating to use. The puzzle, the puzzle thing isn't bad, but kind of annoying. Yeah. You really don't remember me, lady? Uh -huh. I don't remember breakfast, and it was probably delicious. Cinnamon crunch. Oh yeah. Mmm. Our lives have been intertwined since the beginning, and yet somehow I've always lived in your shadow. Hey, I'm so jealous of your attack. Joke. Gunner Crossbones was the love of my life. We made beautiful music together. Literally. Uh oh. Until you came along and he kicked me to the curb. Literally. <laughs> Sorry. Never heard of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself again in cooking, becoming apprentice to the great culinary artiste, Shefanov. I followed his every recipe, becoming a renowned chef myself. Oh, damn. You came along and disgraced him, driving Shefanov insane and turning the world against classic recipes in favor of your disgusting comfort pose. I love her None pose when she really hits the else. cue ball. How can you be so cruel? Every turn of my uh -oh. life, you've been there to destroy me. Just last month, you tore off one of my wings and stole it because you said it was hecka cute. That sounds like me, but I still think you're mistaken. You're wearing it right now. Oh, yeah. It does look and now, I'll finish with Gunner Crossbones and Shefanov could not! A boss battle? I will destroy you, Kabako! Once and for all! Kabako might be something of a psychopath. Okay, she probably got one more phase in order to have the full health thingy. I don't know how I got hit by that one last time. That's just embarrassing. Aw, oh, come on. If you stand off that thing's grid, can it just not attack you? Because it seems to have a pretty wide grid. Pfft, gotta go fast. Oh, she has one less than max health? Unless she has a final form. Doesn't look like it, though. It's over. You beat me. Maybe I am just a pathetic copycat. Copycat! <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Here. This is yours. Whoa! My videotape! <gasps> I thought I lost it! You did. When I stole it from you. I better call the rental place! Do with it what you will. <laughs> Finally! Wait, are there even rental places anymore? Nope. Just know one thing, Kabako. This is not the end. 
Your trials have only begun. Over the coming months, you'll encounter six more... Boy, you talk a lot. <laughs> Squiddy! Six more evil exes. Galaxy is saved. Let's go eat, Squiddy. But she said there were six more... I said the galaxy is saved! <laughs> yes, sir. Couch money! Hmm. I wonder if that is a sequel slash expanded version hint. I still want to know what that cruelty bonus is. Aww. Sleep, sweet Kebako, into outer space you go. What? The galaxies, they love you so. Oh, Kebako, oh, Kebako. Sleep, sweet Kebako, among the stars and planets, oh, they cradle you, they love you so. The dark and dreamful peace you'll know The mystery revealed The asteroids swing to and fro While you are dreaming here Sleep, sweet Kebako Tomorrow you'll adventure more The universe, it loves you so it reminds me of the Adventure Time song, sorta. Good old Way Forward. If you don't play Way Forward games, you are missing out. Chante is always a classic, and then I really like uh, Mighty Switch Force. It's a good puzzle platformer that's more about, like, it doesn't really stump you too much, it's more about finding out the optimal route. I 100 percent did both the original and the repeat. That's a cycle. Ooh! Okay, it crashed. That's usually my recorder's fault, not the uh, not the actual game. So let's take a quick look at this gun cycle system and uh. Yep, I was right. Let's I wanna see that runaway thing before I forget. I'm sure this thing does like good damage or something, but it just seems. Who's our badge today, Squiddy? His name is Gunner Crossbones. Who's our what bones? Apparently, he's the right, biggest rock star in the universe. Must be new. He's been number one on the Doesn't charts for over 500 years, Parker. Kibako. Parker, get down. Huh? Here's an audio clip from Gunner's last known interview. Oh, you can double jump. It's not really about the music. It's about the people, right? Like, people Neat. listen um, to music, and without people, standard. someone's there to turn the music on. That. Alright, so I guess we've seen pretty much all there is in this so far. I'm really wondering if that thing is a hint about, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a, about a bigger game at some point. Uh, I hope it is, because I want to see more of this. But yeah, that is Cat Girl Without Salad. Um, Amuse Bosch, apparently.